And we begin tonight with the death of a Coweta County deputy who was hit and killed accidentally by an officer from Alabama at the end of a high speed chase. Coweta County honored fallen deputy Eric Minix this afternoon. Just four days ago, Minix lost his life in the line of duty following a car chase that crossed into the state of Alabama. Nearly 10 years of faithful service to the Thin Blue Line gang ended abruptly when Coweta County deputy Eric Minix died as a result of being struck by a police car while engaged in a community endangering high speed chase in Chambers County, Alabama. Even though some police protecting news outlets like Fox 5 attempted to cover up the fact that a cop struck and killed another cop, choosing to write, quote, he was killed when he was struck by a vehicle after a high speed chase, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency confirmed that in the early hours of Thursday, January 4th, the pursuit of a reportedly stolen vehicle that put local residents at risk began in Georgia before crossing into Alabama on I-85, where Deputy Minix was struck by a City of Lynette Police Department vehicle driven by Officer Cornelius J. Robinson. According to the State Law Enforcement Agency, Robinson struck Minix as he was exiting his 2017 Dodge Charger. After the initial impact, officials claimed that Officer Robinson's Explorer struck the Charger before hitting the supposedly stolen 2022 Dodge Challenger driven by 25-year-old DeCedric Donson of Pensacola, Florida. Deputy Minix was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Officials said the vehicle driven by Donson was reportedly stolen. Donson was arrested on charges of receiving stolen property and felony attempting to elude law enforcement. Officer Robinson was put on paid administrative leave pending an investigation. Now, the reality is, had you or I been the ones to strike Minix with our vehicle, the badged agents would be sure that our lives would be forever ruined. It makes you wonder if the sheriff's department will pin the death of Minix on Donson like they pinned the death of St. John's County Sheriff Sergeant Michael Kunovich on 18-year-old Virgilio Mendez. If you'll remember, Sergeant Kunovich collapsed and died of a heart attack back in December after attacking Mendez for absolutely no reason in the Super 8 Motel parking lot in St. Augustine, Florida. Sergeant Michael Kunovich received a hero's funeral and an innocent Virgilio Mendez is still trapped in a cage. Though the body cam and dash cam videos haven't been released yet, we're told that at least seven law enforcement agencies were assisting in apprehending the speeding subject who was reportedly driving that stolen vehicle. Although we don't know for sure what's really going on because police routinely practice the art of deception and information suppression when submitting news briefs for public consumption. He caught criminals and he shooed cows out of the road. Eric jumped into the fray. He jumped into adversity, and he made peace. Eric loved his family, his kids, and his job. I never heard him once complain about having to get up and go to work. Very much loved. He was a friend, a father, a son, a brother. But most of all, he was a law enforcement officer first. That's all he ever wanted to do. What the hell did you just say? But most of all, he was a law enforcement officer first. That's all he ever wanted to do. What the hell is wrong with you people? The subject was arrested and is awaiting charges. On January 8th, bystanders witnessed a nearly 10 mile procession that began at the Coweta County Fairgrounds and ended at Crossroads Church where honor guards from the Georgia State Patrol, the Coweta County Sheriff's Office, and the Noonan Police Department received the family. The sound of bagpipes filled the interior of the packed church as Pastor Ken Adams began the service by welcoming those who made the journey, including Governor Brian Kemp. Now, we're told that Deputy Minix was a canine officer 
and had served with the Coweta County Sheriff's Office for four and a half years and had previously served with the Tyrone Police Department for over five years. This means that as a canine officer, Minix allowed himself to be used as a tool against the people in the long, expensive, failed, and deadly drug war, which isn't a war on drugs so much as it's a war on the people. The question is, in the time he was a cop, how many innocent people did he help to put behind bars? How many ended up losing their lives? How many families did he help shatter while loved ones who never victimized anybody were dragged off to a cage? It's obvious that many people support the members of the Thin Blue Line gang. They're saddened when tragic events like this strike badged agents. And while from the human standpoint, it's painful to see the guy's family suffer, it really makes you wonder how much sorrow one should feel for individuals who decide to take a career path that causes others so much pain and suffering under the color of law. There's a reason they're in this job and they know the consequences. It can happen at any time, but they do it anyway. Well, there's an empty seat where he used to sit because he's gone. but he's not lost. And he won't be forgotten. Hundreds of brothers in blue from all over the state and beyond showed up paying their respects. It was overwhelming for Coweta County Sheriff Lynn Wood. Outpouring of love and support for a deputy who was killed doing what he loved. It was what happened outside the church in the parking lot that marked the end of a beautiful send-off. Wood said he'll miss Minix's sense of humor the most. The last call for every law enforcement funeral I've been to is just something that touches your heart because you never want to hear. One forty-five is just not a number; it's a person. A tearful goodbye and final salute. Well, this is a tough one, but you're going to be okay, and God's going to take care of you. What do you think about this? Should this event sadden us? Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the Global Thought Police in the comments section below. If you like this video, maybe you'll like some of my others. Check out my most popular videos playlist. Surely there's some videos on there you haven't seen yet. If you want to support the channel, grab a hard-hitting conversation starting design, become a channel member, but more importantly, know your freedoms, know your rights, stand for your rights, and exercise your rights. If you don't exercise your rights, you're definitely going to lose them. I'll see you in the next video.